Hey guys, we're back in another video, and today we are, I just need to move my mic closer to my mouth, playing a game that I think I did have a lot of fun doing a series on. It's called Pokemon Planet. You probably haven't heard of it, but it's this small game, I'm just doing stuff in the background, hope it doesn't, you don't mind, where you basically, it's basically every single Pokemon game, but put into one, like, look at all of these crazy gym badges you can earn so there's so many so many different ones and it's online rather than having to get nintendo switch and switch live or whatever that is sorry if i got it incorrect so i'm gonna plan on doing a series now you might be thinking well you have level 81 a uh, level 81 pokemon isn't that not at the start Yes, this is not the start, but I'd, what I really don't want to do is I don't want to make a new account, get super not into that account, make super low quality videos, and nobody enjoy them. I'd rather have all of these super good Pokemon, but not the crazy other account. So, without further ado, I'll explain to you some parts of this game. You might see that I just encountered a wild Pokemon through running through the grass. That's because the grass is where you find Pokemon. Surprise, surprise, surprise. You can also find Pokemon through fishing, mining, and walking through caves. So, yeah. If you see any grass, that's probably gonna be have Pokemon in it. Um, you might see I have six Pokemon on my team. If you don't know which ones these are, Google them. They're pretty cool. They're pretty good. Dragonite, which is a dragon and flying type. Gallade, which is a fighting and psychic type. Macargo, Magcargo, or whatever, fire and rock type. Emolga, electric flying. Mamoswine, or Mamoswine, ice and ground. And then Waylord, a water type. All of these Pokemon are very good in their own unique ways. I want to explain something to you now. These are IVs. You can switch them through spending money on the IV reset. I have spent small amounts of money on GM or gold membership. Um, you, the green numbers are EVs or effort values. You can see the both here. These are basically also impact into how many levels or how many stats you gain per level. So you see like 136 pumped into health is gonna mean I'm gonna get extra health. Whereas, five pumped into special attack might mean I'm not getting that many. Um, I don't want to come, I don't want to talk too much about how this game works, but it's basically, you choose your team, this is my preferred team, uh, at the moment I'm saving up for something pretty big, and you might be wondering, if you've played this game, or just not, why am I in this area, why is there so many computery thingies, or whatever those things are, I've never really understood. Um, you might be wondering what these things are. The truth is, this is an event, it's the summer event. Sorry if you can hear the footsteps in the background. I'm really here in Vermilion. I don't know why I'm in Vermilion, I just chose to be here because it's a pretty big city. If you don't know anything about the Pokemon games, I'll be making guides on this, but I'm pretty sure in the top up there you can see well it's not secure but it's pokemonplanet.com uh google it it's really fun it's completely free what's this thing oh clan building um it is completely free you don't have to spend a cent you can spend a cent and i would recommend it later game but it's a very fun game and it it's qu quite a bit now you might be wondering, my channel has nothing to do with Pokemon. The truth is, I love Pokemon. You might think I'm way too old for Pokemon. Pokemon never, you uh, never outgrow Pokemon. See, all these people, I bet you 1 in 10 of them are full-grown adults that just love the game. And what you might also be thinking is, why do I do this on my channel? It's definitely not a popular game. I'm pretty sure there's like a maximum of 5,000 people playing it at once. That's because I love it, and that means that I kind of want to show it to the world. Um, my 19 subscribers, not really the world, so that they can experience it for themselves, because I think they deserve it. Um, I, there is music, I just have it turned off. And, 
today I'm going to be doing a little bit of grinding, not to get my Pokemon higher levels, but if I go here and I do slash LLE, which is Legendary Lists Encounters, Legendaries have the best Pokemon in existence, pretty much. I have 2,740, that's not that many, you'll see why. But I'm going to do a quick one to two hour grinding session, time lapse, thingy my bobber, of me just trying to get a legendary or some more legendary list encounters because I can't encounter anything. There's an event going on, which means I can just go to any single and every single Pokemon Center, walk in, go to Summer Sailor, go to the Blazing Tropics, and bam, we're here. Hold on, I gotta catch my breath, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> um, the Summer Sailor, here he is, he has a seashell, a seashell shop, a she sea, I, I, I'm just gonna say seashell, a seashell shop. Here you can buy stuff, I honestly just sell seashells in the trading chat, because people will buy them. See this amount of money? That's not easy to get. At the moment, if you know a lot about Pokemon, You'll know about a Pokemon called Articuno. Yes, Articuno. Articuno is a flying and ice type, I'm pretty sure. It's a very strong Pokemon, and I would love to have one on my team. Here's the problem. I need a Feather of Articuno. Now, to get one, you can find either 9,000 Pokemon with a Mamoswine or any other ice type equipped, or you could just buy one for like a million. I'm not sure which one's easier, but buying one seems quicker. So, that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, let's get into the quick for you, not that quick for me, grinding session of me just showing you and making you feel a little empathy for my measly 2740 encounters. Uh, see you then. What's the buttons again? I, I keep forgetting how to stop recording. Anyway, see ya. That, that wasn't it, was it? Oh, never mind. Nope, I'm bad. Anyway, I think this is gonna be right! Okay, so that wasn't as incredibly long as I expected for grinding, but it kind of gives you the idea how long you have to grind to get that much in this game. I'm still only at 2,901, but that means if I- well, I'm gonna check. Uh, 29,009. So basically, I fought 900 and... I probably fought around 900 Pokemon today. That's a lot because I've been playing since I woke up which was way too long ago to think about but i've been playing for quite a while so yeah i've done other stuff too like i've played roblox and other stuff oh and make sure to comment down below if you want to see more roblox on this channel because i can definitely do that sorry i if you have noticed i have a slightly rough voice today it's allergies and whatnot but anyway i also oh somebody just bought my dragon scale for way too much money. I had gotten a dragon scale. Sweet. Um, so guys, we are going to try and find our way back. Oh, there's so many Pokemon here. I really should use just a... Where are they? Max Repel. Um, I'm going to go back with the Summer Sailor. Here we go. I hear my sister walking around in the hot ground. Could you go in your room, please? She's annoying. Please? Okay, guys, I'll be right back once I tell her to go to her room and she actually listens. Because this will take forever. Wait, what? Oh, look at that. Anyway, I'm gonna go, um... Tell her to stop, and I'll I'll keep filming when I'm back. Okay, we sorted out that mess. She's just gonna listen to it super quiet because she's so stubborn. But whatever. Um. So if you're wondering who else plays this game with me, most of these are just people. Uh, we're gamer. We've also got 
one of my other friends and my sister. So, my other friend, Meta733, is I guess what we're gonna call him, because that's his username. He is a nice guy. He's not who we were planning on adding to the realm. We will add him when the time comes, but he's not ready for it yet. That's the PvP building. Anyway, so I fought like 900 Pokemon today. I just gained way too much money off of a Dragon Scale. And now I'm thinking, what I want to do is maybe show you guys what I've done. So if I go here to my trainer card, right in the middle of the screen, look at all these badges. That's 16, I'm pretty sure, because that's 8, yeah, 16 badges. That is quite a few when you think about it. I, the reason I've fought so many gyms is because you need to fight so many gyms to be able to fight the Elite Four of any region you're in. I just finished Johto, kinda waiting in a way for Weird Gamer, but not really. Could easily sweep whatever. What's the next one? Let me check. I know how I can check. If I go to the docks, uh, Hoenn. So, Hoenn, there's three out of eight of the cities you can just vote to but so i'm kind of going to wait a little bit for weird gamer so he can catch up and whatnot but the reason i like this game so much is because i've loved pokemon since i was five and if you do the math dabba dabba bang bang is a seven years of stored up love i'm way too young to be doing youtube but who cares um so seven years of stored up waiting to play a game i've never played a pokemon game before this one so, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty big deal. Also, if you're wondering what my username is, it is, hold on, there should be a place I can check here. Sebi1111. That's how much, is that how much money I've got? 800,000? Seems like too much. Anyway, so I am rich at the moment, but I'm trying to get, maybe somebody put one on the global market for cheaper. This is where you can buy stuff off of other players. Okay, I go here. Articuno. Articuno. I want an Articuno because every but nobody really gets an Articuno. Oh, there's 1,200. Before it was this one. Could you stop slamming doors? Somebody's slamming a door in my house. I'm sorry about all this. Um... See, there's a lot of Feather of Articunons, there's enhanced ones. I'm not going to get an enhanced one, I'm just going to try. But, and then you can also buy actual Articuno. But nobody wants to buy an actual Articuno, right? You do want to grind it yourself for the pride of saying I have an Articuno. So this is Vermilion City. Uh, I want to go back to the Blazing Tropics and explain to you a couple more things. And then I kind of want to try and look around Hoenn a little bit, the next region. But these videos, until Weird Gamer catches up, I'm not going to do these videos that often. But until Weird Gamer catches up, I'm going to have a little while till everything. Till, like, I get to get actually going. But here there is... A lot of weird Pokemon you can fight. Not really gonna go over them all, but I'm kind of, I kind of just want to explain what this is. This is an event, the summer event specifically. They, the Pokemon that everybody is here for is if I go slash Pokemon, it is a legendary Volcanian. That is the rarest Pokemon you can find here. It's a one in 66,000 with gold membership, 100,000 otherwise. Eventually, I'll be making a legendary guide, or a guide for hunting legendaries, or something in between, or something along those lines. That kind of thing, just a guide to kind of tell you guys what you want on your legendaries, like ability, not abilities, but just like natures, and maybe abilities, and then the stats you want, maybe as well. So, yeah. Basically, I'm going to go over my team and their moves right now. Dragonite, level 81, he's my best Pokemon. All of my Pokemon, except my Mamoswine for some reason, have an EXP share, so they're gaining XP constantly. 
Uh, the EXP share splits it evenly. Well, evenly if it's on everything. And I have it on every Pokemon except the one I'm starting with because it gets XP anyway. But my team, let's go over Dragonite first. He knows Outrage, which is a Dragon type move that lasts two to three turns. It's way too overpowered, which is why I use it most of the time. Also, because it does so much damage, it doesn't have to say it's super effective when I use either Surf Thunder or Fly. It it doesn't have to say that, and that takes a little while, and when you're grinding as many Pokemon as I'll have to, that's kind of helpful. Next is Surf. It's a water-type move. You can learn it off of HMs pretty easy, and it hits adjacent Pokemon. I don't know what the power doubles on Dive means. If you do, put that in comments below. And it knows Thunder Punch, which is which you can get from the move relearner. I don't know what level it learns it. I guess I could check. We go Pokedex, seen and caught only. Find. What's on what? You know, I'll just not do that right now. But anyway, Dragonite is level that and level 81. It's my best Pokemon. It's what I do all my grinding with, and then I just have EXP shares on everything else. Uh, I also know Fly, which is. Flies up on one turn, it can't be attacked, then strikes on the next turn, does way too much damage, and it's a flying type move. I swear I taught it another move as well. No, I exchanged it for Thunder, Thunder, um, Thunder Punch. Next is Gallade, he's a psychic and fighting type. He's got Careful, which is a decent one, and Steadfast, which isn't that bad. It's actually quite helpful when you're fighting dark types. He knows Leaf Blade. I just try to have a super balanced team so my Pokemon have random moves. Like Dragonite's got uh, um, Surf and Thunder Punch. And then Gallade's got Leaf Blade. It's for PvP. Nobody expects your Gallade to know a Grass type move. And they always expect it to know the moves they've got. So it knows Leaf Blade, Psycho Cut, com Close Combat, and Swords Dance. Leaf Blade is high crit ratio, 90 power grass type move, can't miss. Psycho, unless it's, all of all of the stuff that says 100 accuracy is basically, it can miss, but only when you're, only when your accuracy is lowered, and I'm pretty sure also if the opponent's evasiveness is heightened or whatever. This is a grass type move, 90 power, 100 accuracy. This is a Psycho, Psycho Cut is a Psychic type move, high crit ratio, 70 power, close combat, um, it's fighting type, physical move, most, all, most of these are physical moves, all of them, it lowers the user's defense and special defense by one, but it, it exchanges that for super high power, and then Sword Stance just raises your attack by two. Next is Magargo, one of my favorite fire types because of this. He knows Flamethrower, which is a 90 power, 100 accuracy, 10% chance to burn. It's pretty great. Ancient Power, which is a rock type move that has a chance to raise all stats by one except accuracy and evasion. Recover, which heals it by 50% of its max health. So, you know, you're down at 50%, you heal up all the way back to 100. Pretty much how overpowered that is. Then Earth Power, which is a ground type move. It can lower the opponent's special defense, and it has 90 power. Higher the power, higher the damage, basically. I forgot to explain that. Emolga. Nobody knows why I'm grinding an Emolga. Nobody does, but it's cute, for one, and it's not that bad if you grind way too many elf point EVs. It knows Discharge, which is an electric type move. It has 30% chance to paralyze Pokemon adjacent Pokemon, so not the Pokemon it's actually attacking 80 power 100 accuracy it's pretty great especially with all of that special attack pumped it's also got acrobatics which is a flying type physical move it pa power doubles when it has no held item so for pvp i take off of its exp share which is right there charge which boosts electric type moves and double team which raises the user's evasiveness pretty sure that means it can dodge or something like that. Now it's Mamoswine or Mamoswine. I really don't know how to pronounce it. He has double hit. It hits two times in one turn, does 35 power, 90 accuracy. 
has ancient power, just like my cargo, and it has 10% to raise. I'm not going to go over it. You can skip back to my cargo. Earthquake, which is way too overpowered. It does a, it has 100 power, 100 accuracy, and it hits adjacent Pokemon. And Endure, which means it will survive the next turn. It's amazing to just taunt people in PvP with Endure, but I'm pretty sure you can only use it like once. It's still fun, though. Uh, Waylord, a water type, just water type, the only t Pokemon on my team that doesn't have two types. He's got w Brave and Water Veil, which he can't be burned. There's people upstairs, I'm sorry. Um, there, it has Surf, which is a water type special move, yada yada, boom bang, uh, it's an HM. Heavy Slam, it's super it's steel type, and it does more damage, heavier it is, so basically you hit a Caterpie, it does tons of damage, you hit... Okay, guys, sorry about that weird cut. You probably don't understand what happened. It's just something happened in the background, and I had to go solve it, and I might as well have just filmed something new. But where we are, I forgot what I was going to do. I was just telling you about all my Pokemon's moves, and I think I ended up on Waylord. Um, it knows Rollout and Noble Roar, and today I haven't done a whole ton, so I'm going to do some interesting stuff. With you guys, I'm not going to go into the PvP building, but if I go here, I will go to a ranked match, and I will fight people in the ranked battles. I never win, but we'll, it'll kind of just show you what Pokemon battling looks like, and it's going to be a great pastime, because it takes an hour for the ranked match to start. It's so annoying. I... Uh, don't do a whole ton of weekly battles, and you can buy stuff with PvP points, like Krogunk. Honestly, I'm kind of just doing it for fun. The leaderboard people win, like, they play for way too much, some of them, so that's nice for them. But I'm just going to sit here and talk to you guys while this waits. Uh, right, I, I am queued, right? Okay, I'm already queued. Um, sorry if you can hear my family in the background. I have a, I have a family, so I have to, like, deal with that in the background. Sometimes, it's unfortunate, but I have to. Anyway, I'm just kind of waiting for the battle. It only happens because I'm filming, isn't it? Oh, there we go, boom. A sh that's not, how is that a shiny? Like, I don't think I've told you guys what shinies are, but they're basically Pokemon. That look different than other normal Pokemon, I guess. I'd assume it's just a different color tail thing, though. Uh, what's the highest power? Surf. I'll just wait for stir Surf. How many different things can this guy put down? Toxic Spikes now? Dragonite woke up and he used Surf and it nearly one-shot the guy. Okay, now let's use Surf again. Toxic spikes, he laid more toxic spikes down, and he's dead. Sweet! So we have killed one of this guy's Pokemon, and he hasn't killed any of ours. That is a good, good thing. Azumarill, Water Fairy type hat. We know Thunder Punch. This Azumarill is probably. Oh, ow! Uh, oof, that's a major oof on my part. That was a bad move. I'll switch to Gallade, and I'll use uh, Leaf Cut. How is he badly poisoned? Oh, Stealth Rocks. Uh, Leaf Blade. And she- wh what? What? I'm- I'm Psychic type, though. Fine. Fine, I'll switch to my, uh... Hmm. I don't know what to switch to. Fine, Emolga. Make it obvious that I'm a Flying or Electric type. Ow! Discharge. Boom! Okay, we took out the Azumarill. There we go. Two Pokemon down from us. Two Pokemon down from then. I might actually win this one if I don't just jinx myself, but then again, he's got an Arcanine, a... what a... Volcarona thing. I'm gonna do double to... oh, never mind. Flare Blitz killed me. But it did most... a lot of his health, so let's go Waylord, make it obvious, and then he might switch to some... How am I badly poisoned? From what? Uh, I guess I could use... I'm not going to do rollout, because that kind of just annoys me. Ooh, uh, Electrovire. I'm going to use rollout now. 
because now on this turn of ro oh there we go there goes my pokemon there goes that uh i'll switch to Magargo because he probably won't realize that i know a ground type move sorry if you can hear in the background but i'd rather have some talking in the background than no video uh earth power why does he get to go first that's not fair now it's down to my Mamoswine for way too many Pokemon. Um, yeah, Mamoswine. Come on, let me go first, please, if it means anything. Probably slower, and it's probably gonna one-shot me. If he switches to any of these two, uh, I'll probably be able to take him down easily, but if he switches to his Cloyster thingy majiga I will probably lose. I mean, I'm probably not going to win anyway. Bug and fire type. Ancient powers times four effectiveness. Oh, I forgot. It was also effective against me. There goes my thing. But this is the kind of battle. There goes my, uh, my mammoth swine. But th this is the kind of thing that makes these games fun. What? That made no sense. Um, I lost, but I got two competitive points, and you can spend competitive points on stuff. I'm pretty sure I told you that. Why does it say a laser? Um, I'm sorry if there's a lot of stuff in the background. I can't tell, because I haven't- I'm not listening to this as I make it. should probably do that, but I don't know how. If I just cancel search and I ranked match up again, oh, it didn't work. The last time it was, like, instant. So, I want to explain to you guys what shinies are. If you don't know, shinies are different colored Pokemon. Like, they're, they're, they're that rare. They're, there's one in 4,000 chance of encountering one. They're not that good, and they're not... Yeah, they're just not good. I mean, I don't look for shinies wherever I go. But, I when I get one, I just keep it, because it's cool. Or I sell one. Why is somebody... What? Oh, he's fighting me. Haha, <laughs> I'm switching my Pokemon. Special attack and special defense. I'm going to use... Earthquake. Oh, it one-shot her! Haha! <laughs> oh, it was a crit, but it's still one-shot her. And that means that's one Pokemon for one Pokemon. Charizard. I can use Ancient Power. If it doesn't one-shot me. Oh, it barely did anything. Okay, that's nice. Ancient powers times four effectiveness. And times four effective moves, usually one shot, but I didn't. That's nice. Uh, I should. Oh, why does he get to go first? I'm probably gonna die, but I got a rid of two of this guy's stuff. I know rock type moves on my cargo, so I'll be able to take out Scyther and Gyarados pretty easily, especially Scyther. Okay, uh, they're choosing their next Pokemon. Oh, and I got a buff in everything. Gyarados. I will Ancient Power him. And I'll switch back to Dragonite, because he knows Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch will probably one-shot the Gyarados if this doesn't. Hope it does, though. That would be nice. Before I die. Is he gonna play? Quantanium X, are you going to play? Bud. Bud. Hello. Maybe his computer crashed. Oh, sweet. I gained four competitive points. Oh, not. I fought this guy earlier. Didn't we already fight this guy? Maybe not, but I've already fought him today. Please don't switch to his Azumarill, or this will do nothing. Oh, it's a Clefable. It's even worse. I hate Clefable. This guy's Clefable has a, uh, has, oh, he's paralyzed. Um, this cl guy's Clefable has leftovers, which heal you by, like, 6% every turn, and it's just annoying. Uh, Surf is more powerful, so I'll just use Surf. He's just gonna call Mind forever. I don't think Pokemon can break out of Paralysis, but they might be able to. Oof! Oof! I forgot that that thing knew that. I'm gonna use Fly, because Fly's pretty powerful. Ah, you used Moonblast, but you missed. 
please do. Uh, I barely did anything. Calm mind again. If I get hit once, I'm basically dead anyway. But this guy has probably racked up so many of those points just because. I don't even know what's effective against fairy. Bear, probably nothing to be honest. Oop, there goes my Dragonite bit. That's nice. Oh, my sister's being so loud. Sissy, could you be quiet, please? Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, I'm psychic type. It's not extra effectiveness. She's still not quiet. That's nice. Please don't. Oh, okay. There goes that. I might be able to take this guy's thing out, this guy's Pokemon out, but it, it's risky. I should use Mamoswine, because he knows a 100 power move. Okay, what? I didn't ask for a double hit. Okay. Moonlight. Oh, I... Oh. It's, it's bleh. Just bleh. And there goes Mamoswine! This guy's gonna tank me with his cold fable. I hate that. Emolga, go! Uh, I think I'm going to use Discharge. Oh, that did hit, like, nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Sissy, could you please be quiet? Waylord. Let's go with Waylord. Heavy Slam might do a good bit. Oh, it's times two effective. Yes. Oh, that did so much. Please don't use... Oh, he one shot me. Hopefully, I get to go first. Oh, but it's Macargo. He's the slowest thing in existence. Our goal in this battle is not to win, but to simply take out this guy. Yes! We did it! We beat the one guy, and now we're gonna lose easily, unless Macargo somehow survives. And it's a zoomer. Uh, 100 power, 60 power, 90 power. Let's do that. Ah, there goes my guy. Well, two competitive points, and we beat the silly McGilly, stinky winky, thingy my bob. And, okay. Uh, I'm afraid that's all we got time for. We did enough battles. We did enough stuff. I hope I showed you this game pretty well. Uh, I'll probably do one or two videos on this a week, so not as much as Minecraft. At the moment, I'm probably going to do a couple this week, just because, uh... My friend is coming over for the entire weekend, and it's easier to do these kinds of videos than anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys watch more, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Ah. Um, and that'll be all. We're just I guess I'll ask what tourist Hector says, Hector says to say. Solrock is probably the weakest Pokemon of all time. No, it's not. Caterpie is much worse. Hashtag Caterpie sucks, please. Please. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will put the link to my Discord server in the bottom, and soon I'll buy myself a clan in this, so you guys can join my clan, the new clan wars. It'll be great. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!